Hey, fish tank people. I'm just doing another video today because I've noticed I have a little um, problem, and I believe it is a brown algae problem. Um, if you take a look at my bacopa back there, you can see the brown on the leaves. Um, if you sit there and keep rubbing them, it will come off, um, but it leaves like a residue on it. Uh, let me try to get over here to this bacopa. Turn this back around this way. You can kind of see it a little bit better on this one. Um, so I went out today and I picked myself up some API algae fix. It says that it is safe. It will not harm fish or plants. So I'm giving that a try and we'll see what happens. Um, see if it clears it up. You just put in like one milliliter per 10 gallons, so since mine's a 20 gallon tank, I only put two milliliters in there, and then you treat it again after three days. Um, and we're gonna see what happens with that. Um, I've been noticing it on the Bacopa since shortly after I put the Bacopa in, um, and it's just gotten worse. I scrubbed the tank down today with a scrubber, did all the walls. I really didn't see anything on it. On the back wall there was some, but I didn't see any on the front or the sides. So, I don't know. I mean, everything seems to be, you know, the other plants, although the crypts look like they're starting to. Here we go. Let's take a look at this one. I don't know if you can see it around the edges, but it's starting to get it. And my favorite crypt, He's starting to get it too. So, I'm kind of a little worried. My melon sword, you know, I'm just waiting to see. Um, I was going to try and get some Flourish Excel. Um, I know that's a liquid carbon, but um, I've been reading a lot online, and when people have algae, some people have algae outbreaks, they say they dose the tank with that and it seems to help but I went to PetSmart they didn't have any all they had was Flourish and I already have Flourish now my normal regimen or my tank when I set it up um, I used Prime in the water um, when I do water changes I add the Prime I also had some bacteria supplement so I usually put about 10 milliliters of that in when I do water changes. I just did a 50% water change um, two days ago, so I added some of that to it. Um, I've been testing with 5-in-1 uh, test strips, and that you know measures the pH, the nitrate, nitrate, carbonate, and general hardness. My, my numbers or my uh, test is coming out good. Um, so all I can think is this is brown algae, so what I'm going to do is reduce my lighting. I'm going to put it on a timer now, so it's just worn for exactly 10 hours a day, nothing more. Um, I'm going to reduce my feeding to once a day instead of twice. And, uh, besides those items... I've been dosing like twice a week with the Flourish Comprehensive um, for the Planet Aquarium. And I've also been using the API CO2 booster. And the CO2 booster I've been doing every day. And I think I'm going to cut that down and not do it. Um, I'm not going to do it for like two or three days. And then when I start it up again, I'm only going to do it every other day. Uh, because I don't know if I've got too much fertilizer in here and that's what's going on. The Flourish I only use like a couple times a week. <clears throat> but I'm going to cut that out for like a week. I'm just going to kind of let the aquarium just sit and uh, see what happens. It's kind of hazy right now because I just did the algae fix. So we're going to wait and see what happens. So I'll keep you guys updated on it. Anybody has any advice about brown algae or if they can look at my Anubias and see how that's got it. And now, my other Anubias is starting to get it. Um, 
If anybody, you know, has any advice or whatever that they can give me, I'll be glad to hear it. Just leave a comment below. Thanks. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.